Yes. So I, I think that's part of the risk. It's not just what's happening in Egypt. It's what Egypt means for other countries. So there's a lot of, you know, if you look at the decision tree, um, it's pretty complex. But for, for Egypt, you could have a good outcome that they have free elections and get a, a coalition government of many different interests uh, within Egypt, which is way different than what happened in 1979. And I certainly hope that, um, you know, um, State Department and everybody's kind of learned the lesson of 1979. So the people that you think might be leading the revolution are not necessarily the people that are going to be running the show after the re revolution. So I hope that they've learned that lesson. But given that there is a possibility that it breaks down, you get an extremist um, uh, uh, situation where um, the country devolves into like Iran, um, that would spell just great risk in that, in that area. So it's the risk of other countries like Saudi Arabia uh, being challenged. There's also uh, another risk of what is the situation with Israel. You need to talk about extreme political risk. A country um, has treaties with Jordan and Egypt. If those treaties are jettisoned uh, and everybody knows um, that the final option there is like a nuclear option, that's just massive risk. So yeah, that that any time risk premiums go up, prices uh, also go up. So it's another reason to suspect that um, you know we'll, we're going to be faced with continued. Um, high prices in oil.